Good morning. This is Monday, May 4th, 2020. Nature in your backyard. And I'm Frank Taylor. And as usual, I'm pretty excited this morning because this weekend I found a frog. So here's our new episode. Today we're following spring as it evolves. And I promise I have not gone out purposely to look for one thing. I'm doing what I want you guys to do. I want you to go outside and look for stuff and see what you're going to find. And so I came across this green frog and I said, well, let's do Let's do this episode. Right here in your backyard, you never know what you're going to find. Never uh, and there's to make this invasive. It's exhausting. Dogwoods are flowering. And I just took a couple swipes of terrestrial environment. Uh, produce seed pollen. And it's And here's our guy, our subject this morning. And he is checking me out. Look at those eyes. So this is a green frog. And uh, I had posted this on Facebook and challenged you to see if you could tell me what it was and identify it. And uh, apparently green frogs and bullfrogs look very, very similar. And the way you tell them apart is by looking at their back. And can you see that line going from his eye down his back? And if we can zoom in on that and get some better light. And if you can see, he's got two uh, later, they call them lateral dorsal lateral folds. He's got two lines going from the, his eyes about halfway down his back. And that's how to definitively tell this frog from a bullfrog. Now, you can also identify the gender of this frog by looking at two things. Number one, if you look behind this frog's eyes, he's got a big eardrum and it's called a tympanum. See that round circle behind those big eyes? That's a tympanum. In a male green frog, the tympanum is about twice the size of the eye. In a female, it's about the same size. So looking at this, would you say that that tympanum is about the same size or twice the size? And if you said it's about the same size, then you're right, and it's a female. The other thing to look at is under his chin. The males um, are yellow under their chin, um, and this uh, frog has no yellow there. So this frog is a female green frog. His name, scientific name, it's interesting sometimes to look at scientific names and ask, uh, you know, where do those names come from? His scientific name is Lithobates clamatans. Lithobates clamatans. Lithobates, Bates, is from the Greek. And there's two words in there. Litho means stone, and Bates uh, means to walk. So the first part of his name means walking stone. And the other part of his name, clamatans, means to call loud. <laughs> So here we have a walking stone that calls loud. Now what kind of call does this frog make? Typically, you know, when we think of frogs and frog sounds, we think of a uh, 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 rivet, rivet, rivet. Well, this frog makes a sound that sounds like a broken banjo string or a loose banjo string that you just plucked. And it makes a kerplunk kind of sound. And if you go online and go to uh, look up green frog and the Virginia Herpetological Society, Herbians, but, and uh, you'll see a little sound bar there and you can play the sound bar and see what this guy sounds like. And when you do, you'll probably say, oh, I've heard that. I know what that is. Um, and so that's the sound of uh, the green frog. Now, green frogs, where do they live? Obviously, uh, the green frog is an amphibian, and a lot of amphibians, you know, classically live both in water and on land. 
and this guy kind of lives in what we call the ecotone. Um, the ecotone is a transition in biological habitats, and the ecotone he lives in is the transition between land and water. And typically, he'll sit right on the edge of a pond or a body of water, and he'll be pointing to the water. And if you walk up on him, he'll suddenly jump. He's not really great on land. Um, he can't really run, but he does have very powerful hind legs. And you can see he's trying to jump and escape from me right now. And so on land, his best strategy to escape predators is to make a sudden jump and he goes into the water. <coughs> so he transitions from the terrestrial environment to the water environment, living right on this edge, this ecotone. And most of his terrestrial predators can't follow him right into the water. They're not adapted for both land and water. So his strategy to avoid predation, but still find food, is to be right on the edge of that ecotone. He'll sit right on the edge of the pond, and whenever you see him, he's pointing right at the pond. And if you walk up, he'll jump. And the other funny thing he does when he jumps is he'll make an eek sound. And so you'll be walking along, and you'll see, and what, what you'll probably never see him. You'll hear a eek, and then there'll be a splash in the water. And you can see that his hind legs are webbed and specialized for swimming in the water. Now, where did this guy come from? He's an amphibian, and they go through this amazing change from the tadpole stage. And this morning, I put my net in the water, and I found this tadpole. So, let's take a look here. Here's the frog, side by side, and here is the tadpole. And you can see that the tadpole is just a little bit smaller than the frog. Now, I'm not really good at identifying tadpoles, and there are guides to tadpole identification, but I'm not really, really good at that. Um, uh, so I'm wondering if this tadpole is a green frog tadpole or if it's a bullfrog tadpole, because I could have either one. Green frogs are probably the most common frog that you'll find. Um, if you find a frog, it's likely to be this guy right here. It, uh, they're, they're really, really common. So I have to think that perhaps this is, in fact, a green frog tadpole. So these tadpoles, though, some tadpoles change in uh, the course of a year. The eggs will be laid in the spring, and the tadpole... Um, will go through this process. So this tadpole will eventually grow uh, rear legs and then front legs, and then his body shape will change and his eyes will get bigger and his tail will disappear. And we're gonna follow these tadpoles, of course, through the summer, through nature in your backyard. We'll keep a, a, a tab on these guys. Now I have to show you too that I found another tadpole in the pond. And this one was so small, I had to put him in a magnifying box. So we're going to have a good time checking out and following. Look at the difference in the size here uh, between these two uh, tadpoles. And I think, I'm going to say they're probably different species. But I don't know. We're going to have to find out. And that's what makes biology fun. And we're going to keep track of these guys and follow them through the year. Last thing I wanted to talk about is what these guys eat. So one of the interesting things is not only does this, essentially a ball with a tail, change into this four-legged creature, um, this guy is a vegetarian and he feeds on algae in the pond. This guy is a predator. So not only do they go from a complete change where this guy is more of a fit, like a fish, breathing, um, uh, breathing under underwater with uh, internal gills that uh, extract oxygen from the water. And this guy breathes oxygen, and you can see him breathing. You can see that underneath thing coming out, and that is the thing that expands to make the kerplunk. If he made that kerplunk now, that lower 
um, pouch would fill up with air, and when he exhales it really fast, that's how the frogs make their, their loud sound. So, vegetarian that eats algae, and then the adult stage occupies a completely different niche, a completely different habitat, and eats um, pretty much whatever he can find. And so, the adult frog will literally eat anything he can put in his mouth. Can you imagine that? If it fits in his mouth and it's alive, he's going to eat it. So, he'll eat spiders, fish, crayfish, he'll eat other frogs, he'll eat snakes, he'll eat tadpoles. <laughs> frogs are pretty crazy. When they become uh, <laughs> adults, they will literally eat anything they can put in your mouth. So, uh, thank you for visiting today. Today's topic, of course, was uh, the green frog, and you can identify a green frog from other frogs by its green color, but then it looks just like a bullfrog. But the green frog has those two narrow folds that uh, go about halfway down his back. And the bullfrog doesn't have that. Frogs have an ear like tympanum. Um, and if you're in band or remember you know, words in band, to the tympany had to do with the drums. So it's like an, an eardrum. Adult frogs are carnivores. Tadpoles, the, or the larva, are vegetarians. Um, you can hear what a uh, green frog sounds like, that banjo pluck. If you go to the Virginia Herpetological Society webpage, you can hear, find that. Where do these guys live? On the ecotone, the transition between water and uh, the terrestrial environment. And these guys are always on that edge, pointing to the water, and if you walk up, you'll hear eek! and it'll splash in the water. Thanks for visiting with me today. We're gonna have more cool stuff tomorrow. Uh, this has been Nature in Your Backyard.